Hello again, this is Tony from the Engineer Team Network, your masterful engineer. We're going to look at this boiler, but before we start, just a small public warning. Anyone working on boilers should be gas safe registered and competent to do so. So that's the end of that. Okay, so this boiler is the Shepherdtoll Brittany SE Combi Boiler, standard efficiency. And because it's just look at some basic problems which can happen on this boiler. So at, oh, you can see at the moment the front control panel, you can see the pressure gauge here, the control dials that to the heat and hot water, the on off switch and the time clock. So I'll just lower down this panel and we can look inside. So one of the first problems we'll look at or possible problems is uh, the gas valve here. This is the gas valve and uh, we've got these three solenoids, one's for the hot water solenoid and two for the modulation type of, of the boiler. This makes the burn go up and down. So this is the gas valve anyway. Also, we'll look at this. This is the central heating thermistor. This can go faulty. It'll, it'll show a fault code on the front of the boiler if it does. You've also got the hot water one here, the mister here. Another problem can happen is not water. This is the um, water section here. The diaphragm can go inside there. You've also got this component. This is a flow limiter. They can also go faulty. Sometimes you can get a leak occurring from this section here and dripping down. This is the central heating pump, they can also go faulty. You've got the pressure sensing module here, this senses the pressure inside the boiler. At the back there you've got the hot water heat exchanger, we can see it better from the side here. This is the hot water heat exchanger here. This pipe, incidentally, this goes up to the expansion vessel, they can get blocked and cause a ball to overpressurize. Okay, inside the combustion chamber, inside here you've got the burn at the back. This is the burner bar here. Behind there you've got the spark electrode and the flame sensing electrodes behind here. This is the overheat thermostat here. And up here we've got the fan unit these can also go faulty as well and right at the back here we've got the air pressure switch located up here okay so that's basically it on this particular boiler so if you've got any boiler problems and you need an engineer just click the link below and you can call us out and we can sort that out for you so that's me tony from the engineer team network thank you for watching and hope to see you soon